Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check and identify water leaks from your washing machine. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The first place to check is the dispenser. Now inside the roof of the dispenser housing, we have some water jets that can get uh, bunged up by mold and cause water to leak from the dispenser and can cause the water to come right the way around the door, seeming like you have a leak from the door itself. So if you're in any doubt or your jets are dirty, give them a good clean with a brush. Put your dispenser drawer back in and when running, trap a piece of tissue under the dispenser drawer. If the tissue gets wet, it means that the leak is coming from the dispenser and not the door itself. If you've checked the dispenser drawer and the leak is still coming from the door area of your washing machine, then it's likely to be the door seal inside. Now the lip of the door seal can become damaged due to bringing heavy washing in and out of the machine or getting torn by zips. So do check the outer lip of the door seal very carefully for any rips or tears. If your door seal is damaged, you're going to need to replace it. And you can see how to do that in another one of our eSpares videos. If you have a leak underneath the machine at the front, it may well be that the door sill itself has become damaged. So in order to inspect the door sill properly, pull back the door bellow and inspect for any tears or holes. Again, if you find any damage to the door sill itself, you're going to need to replace it. Next area that we're going to look at is the filter. So I'm just going to remove the filter cover. And here we have the filter inside. I'm going to remove the filter. Please be aware that in your machine, there may well be water inside the filter housing. So it's a good idea to put a towel down or a shallow tray just to catch that water. Should be no more than a cup's worth. If you've recently taken the filter out to clean and you've noticed that there is a leak coming from the filter area, it may well be that the seal down here on the filter has become contaminated with grit or fine particles. So it's a good idea to give the seal a good clean, making sure there's no contamination on it. And also where the seal meets the machine, it's a good idea to have a good clean in there as well meaning that the seal on the filter will work properly. It's a good idea, if you're having trouble identifying exactly where the leak is coming from on your washing machine, to grab a piece of cardboard or paper, slip it under the washing machine, run a cycle and monitor throughout the cycle exactly where the water builds up on the cardboard or paper. Please be aware though that as I said with a dispenser, water leaking down from there may well run around the front of the door and drip down there. So always follow exactly where the water is coming from to identify the leak. If you've noticed a leak at the back of your machine, it may well be coming from the hoses. It's a good idea to wrap a piece of tissue around the hose and put on a cycle and see if it gets wet. Obviously if it is getting wet during the cycle it's a good idea to check the seal within the hose to make sure that's in good condition. When replacing the hose make sure that you do it up nice and tightly by hand. The next area I'm going to check is inside the machine. So to access that, I need to remove this panel by undoing these screws. With the back of the machine removed, there's a few areas to check for where your leak is coming from. If you notice that the machine is leaking when it is filling, then this could be a problem with the dispenser. 
However, if you notice that the machine is still leaking when it is full of water during a cycle, this could be due to the hoses inside the machine. So use a torch to inspect those for any damage. It's also a good idea to fill the tub with a kettle's worth of water to make sure that there isn't any leaks coming from the tub because the tub can be damaged by metal or a coin becoming trapped within it. If you do find damage within the tub, you're going to need to replace it. It's worth reiterating that with the back off and inspecting the machine, it must be disconnected from the mains. So there we have it, how to check for and identify leaks in your washing machine. For spares and accessories for washing machines and all other appliances around your home, please visit the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.